Hi, OP. Good to see you today. I thought I would share something that Gwen, Albert, and I have been doing at home during this time away from OC that has been really fun. We have been pretending that we're male professionals, um, like a mailman or a mail lady that brings letters and packages to your house. So in order to become a male professional and have letters to drop off, we thought we might need mailboxes. So we made them ourselves. We keep these mailboxes just outside of our bedroom doors and it gives us a lot of fun throughout our day. So here's an example of one of our mailboxes. This is Gwen's. Uh, she made it herself. It is made from cardboard and packing tape. And you can see here that it's a cardboard prism, right? And the mail goes in here. And she's used a little magnet and a washer to close her door on her mailbox. So we can take a letter to Gwenny. She is located on the first door on the right at the top of the stairs at 11 Glenlock Way in Melbourne. We can tuck her letter in there, close the door, and she will receive that letter the next time she checks her mailbox. Now, here's another example of a mailbox. It's very similar to Gwenny's, but a bit larger. This is Albert's mailbox. He chose not to decorate his, um, which is totally fine. And here's a letter to Albert, and we can tuck it right in there for him, close our door, and off we go. Now, my mailbox is different. I made my mailbox out of an old Quaker Oats container. Have you guys ever seen a container like this at your house? Well, whoops. what I did was I just took this container and I taped with packing tape at the top to make a door. And my door closes from the top to the bottom, as you guys can see there. I've also kept a pencil inside my mailbox so I can quickly respond to any mail that comes my way, especially if it's asking for a vote, because a lot of there are a lot of elections happening with our stuffed animals upstairs right now, it's election time. Um, so that is mine and my husband's mailbox. And um, as you see, I attached and a hanger here, this is actually a wire hanger that your mom or dad might have from the uh, dry cleaners. And I just unraveled this part of the top and I actually don't set mine on the floor at my house. What I do is I take it and I hang it over the edge of my door like that. And so mine hangs on my bedroom door. This is our basement door, but to model how the wire works. Um, that's what we do. So now what we'll do is I'll take you through an example of maybe how you might make your own. Of course, however you do it is perfectly fine. And I would love to see your ideas of how you make your own mailbox because I could upgrade mine for sure. Mine could definitely use an upgrade. All right. So one way to make a mailbox for you or your family is to um, get these materials. One is uh, cardboard. This came from a package uh, that came this morning. Another piece of material that you might wanna have is a old wire hanger. Check with mom and dad first to make sure that this is okay. Uh, and then you might need some packing tape or scotch tape or masking tape to hold it together. A pair of scissors and then lots of colors if you like to uh, decorate it when you're finished. So I'm going to just take this box here and I'm going to fold it back somewhat into its original formation. I'm going to grab a little masking tape that I had already pulled off of the roll and I'm going to seal the side. Then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'll turn it this way so you can see a little bit better. I take that tape that I pulled off of my masking tape reel, tape it on there. And then we have a new mailbox. And I think what I'll do is I will make this mailbox for my friend Clover, my dog. So I'll send you a picture once I have it all decorated and hung on her crate. All right, guys.
Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you for watching. And I can't wait to see if you have started some male um, traditions in your house. So this is our clover. And now our sweet little clover has her very own mailbox. Woohoo! And all of Clover's friends up here are going to be sending Clover lots of messages to her mailbox and asking for Clover's vote in the upcoming mayoral elections.